being this afternoon here, to celebrate together with Afghanistan National Institute of Music, the return of music to Afghanistan. And it's a wonderful opportunity for our young musicians to share the stage today with the wonderful musician from Switzerland. And uh, that also clearly shows how much music can easily bring people, civilization, and cultures together. Thank you very much for being such a wonderful friends and partners. Since today we're here to celebrate music and to engage in a conversation through the universal language of music, I'm not taking much of your time speaking, but at the very beginning I just wanted to say a few words about the Afghanistan National Institute of Music, our commitment, and of course this beautiful All Women Orchestra of Afghanistan. Afghanistan National Institute of Music uh, opened in 2010 with a number of objectives to assist Afghanistan with rebuilding and revolving musical traditions, bringing and ensuring the musical rights of Afghan children, promoting freedom of expression through music, assisting and transforming the most disadvantaged class of Afghan society, kids from orphanages, children who used to work on the streets of Afghanistan, and most importantly, empowering girls and women of Afghanistan through music and education. But of course, we are very well aware of the power of music and the role that music can play in the reunification of Afghanistan and creating an opportunity and dialogue between different ethnic group of Afghan communities. And as if you see in this orchestra, we've got a wonderful mosaic of ethnic composition of Afghanistan. We've got girls here on the stage from four provinces as Nuristan, Kunar, Jalalabad, Faryab, but as well as Balkh. And this orchestra enables them to learn and to respect each other, to get engaged in dialogue regardless of their ethnicity or background, but live in peace and harmony as a nation. Afghanistan National Institute of Music is very much committed to empowering girls. The formation of the All Women Orchestra is the latest initiative of our school, but the girls are equally represented in every ensemble and orchestras of Afghanistan, regardless if it's a big size or a large size. Many of the girls are playing in the Youth Orchestra of Afghanistan, which successfully toured the United States and many other countries and played a sold out concert in Carnegie Hall. And today, this is the first public performances of this courageous and brave girls here in this wonderful venue. And I would like to also to thank you, the host today, for giving us this opportunity for, to play with you. And uh, I'm cutting off the orchestra that you see here. It's only girls. They are playing Afghan traditional instruments as well as Western classical instruments. The repertoire of the orchestra is made also of Western music as well as uh, Afghan music. Even when we play a Western classical piece, it's always a new arrangement incorporating Afghan traditional instruments in the arrangements. Whether they play Vivaldi or Bach or Beethoven, it's always a new arrangement. But for today's concert, we selected from the repertoire only Afghan music to introduce you and to share with you the beauty of Afghan music. I'm not taking much of your time. I hand uh, the microphone over to the wonderful Mashal Harman, uh, an Afghan-born uh, Swiss citizens who've been living and working here for many, many years. And it's a pleasure to have you here with us and uh, who is assisting us with the, with the program. She will be the master of ceremony for this afternoon concert. By the end of the concert, the floor will be open also to question. you most welcome to ask any question you have about the school, about Afghanistan, about the music of Afghanistan, and of course about the beautiful orchestra that you, is here to share the beauty of music with you. Thank you very much for your attention, and please join Mashal Arman. Good afternoon. Thank you, Dr. Sarmast. I would like to say a few words about today's event. Excuse me. 
Um, as you most certainly know, the Afghan musical milieu has suffered significantly during the past decades from war, exile, and terrible oppression at the hands of the Taliban, as well as from full suppression of music and arts in general. Um, these years of turmoil and war have taken their toll, annihilated women's rights, education, and the social fabric between men and women. Very concerned by the dire state of music musicians and music education in his native country, Dr. Ahmad Sarmast, who obtained his doctorate in ethnomusicology from the University of Monash, Australia in 2005, founded the Afghanistan National Institute of Music in 2010. This innovative and groundbreaking project, fully supported by the Ministry of Education of Afghanistan, aims at reviving and promoting music education in this devastated country. Today, more than 65 young, courageous women attend the Institute in Kabul, which welcomes more than 200 students, regardless of their gender, ethnic, economic, or social background. These students put their lives at risk, at risk every day, given that the school itself is a target for extremists. They overcome multiple obstacles and defy social barriers to try to make their dreams come true. Over 30 of these young women from this institute are here with us today. They are the first generation of young women to have studied classical Western music and traditional Afghan music in their native country after more than 30 years of war. These musicians are between 14 and 20 years old and are performing today with the young musicians of the Orchestre du Collège de Genève. We thank the Département of Education of Geneva and Philippe Genevet, its uh, cultural advisor, for this unique and rich cultural exchange. This admirable endeavor brings hope to the future of women brings hope to society and ensures the protection, preservation, and continuity of Afghan culture and heritage. So this is their first international tour, and this is their very first performance together with the Orchestre du Collège de Genève. Please join me in giving them the warmest welcome, ladies and gentlemen, the Afghan Women's Orchestra and the Orchestre du Collège de Genève.
Should I go through from the very beginning? <laughs> uh, the first uh, uh, piece was called Argawan. It's composed by Ustad Muhammad Omar, a contemporary Afghan composer and Rabab player. And the second piece that you, uh, the two so, uh, sitar player played in uh, solo so wonder, wonderfully with, with uh, uh, Najib Ajan, it's a classical piece of Afghanistan which is very much based on the same tradition that is uh, prevalent in India, the tradition of North Indian classical music. And uh, now it's a, a wonderful opportunity and it's a pleasure for me as the founder and director of the Afghanistan National Institute of Music to invite Zarifa Hadib, who is one of the two female conductors responsible to lead the orchestra in this uh, wonderful opportunity here in Switzerland and which will be followed up uh, on a small tour of Germany. Zarifa is the second female conductor of Afghanistan, a very brave young lady from the province of Ghazni. She plays viola and also develops the conducting skills under the guidelines of the Director of Orchestral Studies of the Afghanistan National Institute of Music, Mr. Bishop. Zarifa, the orchestra is in your disposal.
beautiful song that uh, Zarif Adib has conducted. The first one was called Sakina. Sakina is a female name. It's a love song performed by the orchestra. The second song that she conducted is a Pashto song called Paloya Grobande on the top hills. Uh, that's a romantic song, also uh, mainly sung in the east and southern part of Afghanistan. Now it's a great pleasure for me to invite to the stage <coughs> the first female conductor of Afghanistan who bravely and courageously decided to step in to lead the Afghan Youth Orchestra as well as the old women orchestra of Afghanistan. Negin Akhbulwak, a wonderful musician, a beautiful young lady, she's the one to open the way and the parts for all other female conductors to follow in her steps. Negin, stage is here and the orchestra is yours.
Thank you very much for uh, being here with us this evening. Uh, before answering your question, I would like also to welcome to the stage Mr. Kevin Bishop, the director of the Orchestral Studies of the Afghanistan National Institute of Music, who played a significant role in preparing the two girls as a conductor and the orchestra. Mr. Bishop. Given this opportunity, I also would like to uh, express our deepest gratitude to the World Economic Forum for enabling these girls to bring, to come here and to share the beauty of Afghan music with you. Without the total support of the World Economic Forum, that performance could not take place. Thank you very much, Nico, for putting so much energy with your team in the, this wonderful project. Thank you. I also would like to express my deepest gratitude to all ANIM faculty who are here as a faculty, as a chaperone here, uh, in preparing and teaching our students and sharing their skills with this wonderful young musicians. Thank you all ANIM faculty. <laughs> Once again, I would like to thank our partner, the beautiful and wonderful musician from the uh, College of Music uh, from Geneva for joining us and sharing their skill with our musicians. Thank you very much. <laughs> We've got just a few more minutes to pass to the floor and you have any question, we are all here to answer your question. But we've got only five to seven minutes left in our disposals. No questions? <laughs> Hi, I'm Shariha. I'm from Malaysia. So uh, congratulations on doing this, and thank you for your courage uh, to take the music of Afghanistan around the world. I'm just wondering, what are your plans in terms of you know, building more musicians uh, in Afghanistan who are women? and how else you might leverage this global platform that you've been given uh, to you know, talk about um, the rights of women and girls. The number of musicians that you're uh, seeing in that stage is just limited number of our students with, that uh, we are teaching music currently. We've got 30 of them in this stage, but we have got over 200 students, boys and girls involved in co-education and uh, creating music together in Afghanistan. We also have planned if the political situation will allow us, and of course the funding uh, will allow us to open the branches of the Afghanistan National Institute of Music in other provinces of Afghanistan. But though Afghanistan National Institute of Music is not present currently in other provinces, but we have wonderful opportunity that allows us to have the best talents of the country from every corner of Afghanistan, from far distances in our school. Uh, in terms of uh, using the similar platform, we are very much open to travel around the world and to the, take the positive message from Afghanistan through music, through performances, through joint performances, also to get involved in intercultural dialogue with the international community. Hi, sorry. So it's great to hear your plans for um, building out the program. I wanted to ask, what can we do as members of the international community to help you all, help you advance the program? Thank you very much for your generosity and uh, to offering your support. Uh, where the Afghanistan National Institute of Music stands today, it's thanks to the total support of the Ministry of Education, of course, the international community and the donor community played a significant role in developing the music school and uh, expanding the musical school and uh, expand the, uh, expanding our programs. Uh, you may contribute in many ways to the Afghanistan National Institute of Music, beginning for uh, sending musicians to teach in Afghanistan, 
offering a scholarship for our graduates to study for higher degrees in music education, uh, which is not available in Afghanistan, but also financial support to the expansion of the program and to keeping and sustaining the program is uh, very much welcome. Such an amazing opportunity for us to hear you here. I'm, I'm just curious to know if you're also able to travel throughout Afghanistan and perform, or uh, are you limited to the, the region that you're in right now? Uh, this orchestra is a, a new orchestra, and uh, this is the, their first big international tour. They played several concerts in the capital, Kabul, but uh, up until now, in the last two years since the establishment of the orchestra, we did not have an opportunity to, to travel around the country. Those students traveled in the neighboring countries to play some of them in the makeup of different uh, ensemble and orchestras. But we've got a very strong visibility within the Kabul through the local uh, TV stations and many public performances as well. Thank you very, uh, very much once again for being with us this afternoon. Thank you very much for the very warm receipt of this wonderful young and courageous musicians. Thank you to all our partners and to people who facilitated to make this tour happen. Thank you for being here this afternoon again.